Everyone, how are you doing? My name is Martin. Welcome back to another Let's Play episode Fallout 4. Oh, yeah. Alright, so in the previous episode, which was a long one, holy moly, um, just over an hour. I don't think this one is going to be that long, but maybe close. Um, we went to Fort Hagen and we killed Kalok and took his stuff. And um, we know a little bit more where. Sean is he supposed to be still alive, so yeah, we're going to continue the search for him. I wish it oh there's Nora. Make a light. Alright. Um so the Brotherhood of Steel has arrived and we're going to join them mainly because I want to have a means of fast traveling over the map. And having a vertebrate at my disposal will be really good. So in this episode we're going to do just that we're going to go to the Pratwin and um, yeah we're going to be a full member of the brother to still and get ourselves some sweet sweet power armor oh yeah this place um, hmm don't really want to interfere too much with them oh is there against raiders as well like to help the Brotherhood of Steel. Oh, this further bird is going to explode. This is pretty bad. Um, who is Gunners? Ah, I see. Yeah, this is not really my fight. Um, I do need to go that direction though. I might have to hop across the water here. I think I'm going to do that. And they can finish off the Super Mutants there as well. Maybe we come back to do that quest. Um, I was looking for a means to cook and I wanted to go to Grey Garden, but I just remembered, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I can cook here. There's no one here. Hmm, I don't really trust that, but I'm not sure if I have much to cook, but I'm hungry, so I need to cook something. Oh, hang on. Um, roast this. Anything? Nothing. Well, that means I have to go home as well. Um, so I think I'm going to prioritize that. And then go to the Boston Police Station. Ooh. Um, I don't really have to do this. Not really. Let's continue. Um, what's I going to spend so much time doing all sorts of stuff and there's so much things to do. Overland Station over there. And I could have made some food over there if I had some food, that is, but fortunately Hangman's Alley is not too far away. So that's good. So let's get a move on. I should have food there. Oh no, no. Uh oh. Um that's not good. I hate that sound, don't you? <laughs> um, which one has the mini nuke? You? No, don't think so. I think you can see it. Uh oh. Oh, they're off. Jesus, no way. You make a lot of noise. Oh, there he is. This is this guy. Oh, shit. Notice anything suspicious? Hmm. Well, at least the mini new guy is gone. Shot Nora. Oh my goodness. I have to get a little bit used to my new mouse. 
I don't need the mini nuke, by the way. I rarely do use mini nukes. I sometimes use them for fun, like in the last episode. But other than that, I'm never carrying one with me. Especially not on survival, they, they weigh a ton, let alone the, uh, the launcher itself. Right, there should be an event over here. There's always something. You are the crazy woman. That's fine. You. Your brotherhood of steel. Yes, this is the scribe. So that's good. Get some, get some allies close by. Uh oh. That's on the other hand not so good. Let's see if we can uh, get some more XP. I think we're pretty close to leveling up. Oh, how did she set him on fire? Okay. Oh, uh, oh no! I thought there you have these groups of named ghouls. It seems that it's not these guys. All right. Let's um, fix that appetite first. Oh, it's good to be back, man. Oh. Do some saving as well here. While we're at it. Oh, this one is still locked, isn't it? Yeah, well, it's fine. Oh, I'll lock it. Sweet. There's absolutely nothing here. <laughs> I think I'll do that off camera, though. Alright, let's uh, get a few hours of rest. Alright, great. Okay, what I'm going to do is some inventory management. I'll just cut this out, and then um, we're going to proceed to Boston Station. Stand still, hey. Nora. I'm ready. Let's see what you got. All right, so that need to be done. Um, Nora's inventory is completely clear, so that's good. I was wondering just to check if we can do something with that. Oh, I can't. Nuclear material. Great. Um, this is a pretty good gun. Pretty, pretty decent. Pretty, pretty decent. Um, so it has the best of this, but the receiver. This is locked. I can do this if I had some nuclear material. I don't. I will take it with me. Um, might as well take some 44 rounds then with me as well. Okay. Good, good, good. Right now, Nora, let's go. And let's head out to the Boston Police Station. Almost. Almost fooled myself because can I cook something now? First, we scroll bits. I'd rather not because she can make an XP something with that. Uh, but I think I have to. So I'm gonna eat that. And hopefully, uh, somewhere along the way, I find some more food because I'm really um, <laughs> I have nothing anymore. Um right. Nothing will change unless you make it happen. True. Alright, Nora, I will heed that advice. I'll make sure I get food very soon, but let's first go this way. Alright guys, just close to um the police station. These should be brother to still report to pilot and then says, right? right. Is he a scribe or an initiate? We're initiate as well. We're not for long. I must have tossed it there. <laughs> Cavalry's arrived. And it looks like they sent in the big guns. That ship? I've never seen anything like it. Amazing, isn't it? We call our ship the Pridwin. She's loaded with enough troops and supplies to mount a major offensive. If she's here, Elder Maxon's here. And that means we're going to war. Gonna be a quick war with that thing on our side. Anything that big has gotta be dangerous. That's the plan. If history's proven anything, it's that an overwhelming show of force has a chance of halting a conflict before it begins. That being said, you're about to get to know the Pridwin up close and personal. I've received orders that we're both to report to her immediately. Follow me up to the roof of the police station. We're going for a little ride. 
All right. I love this addition to the game. It's fantastic. Can't talk right now. Gotta clean the Mirelux scat off my boots. Okay, okay, okay. Hey, me first. Me first. Oh, Nora's already in there. Not sure how she get in there that fast, but. Oh yeah. Properly identify your targets before you start shooting. We don't want to have any mishaps that fire on the local. The Commonwealth looks different from up here, doesn't it? It never ceases to amaze me how drastically your perception of the battlefield changes from the air. We're going to need that edge when we take on the Institute. They've already proven that they're technologically superior, which means there's no telling what types of weapons they'll have in their arsenal. Hopefully, our air superiority and tactical know-how now all we have to do is fight. And I'm betting that Elder Max will have a plan already in place by the time we arrive. Ooh, there should be some. There should be one in here, actually. If I remember right. The turret? Can I get the turret? That will be awesome. Yeah. They don't realize that the Brotherhood of Steel is the Commonwealth's last hope for survival. Every man, woman, child below is in mortal danger if we fail it's only a matter of time before the enemy overwhelms the population cleansing the commonwealth is our duty and i will gladly spill my own blood if it ensures our victory we're on final approach to the airport the Fredwin should be coming into view just ahead we'll be meeting lancer captain kells on the flight deck Just stick close to me and answer all of his questions Oh, right in the camera. Yeah. It's always a bit laggy for me still here. But um, it has improved with the new video card I got a while back. Alright. Awesome. Now what I really want to get out of this is birdie bird grenades. And in order to do that, I have to do one mission, but um, it's okay. The Brotherhood of, Lord of Skill still is in line with uh, my quest, which is to find the Institute. So I think that fits perfectly in my let's play. Oh, I'm ready. This is always a little part I never understood. The ship is grabbed, which is all really cool. But it's grabbed when the engines are not providing any lift anymore. It's really weird. Let's have a look. See, so like, now? <laughs> They're standing stuff great. <laughs> I don't know how they do that. There we go. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> if he would have run up there, that would be... <laughs> oh, it's too bad. Permission to come aboard, sir? Permission granted. And welcome back, Paladin. Allow me to be the first to congratulate you on a successful mission. And is this our new recruit? Yes, sir. I have Phil promoted him to initiate, and I'd like to sponsor his entry into our rankings personally. Yes, we've read your reports. You'll be pleased to know that Elder Maxon's approved your request. Place the recruit in your charge. Thank you, sir. And my current orders? You are to remain on the Pridman and await further instructions. Very good, sir. Ad Victorium, Captain. Ad Victorium, Paladin. You can see for looks he gives me. <laughs> I don't know. All right. So, you're the one Paladin Dance has taken under his wing. <laughs> you don't look much like a soldier to me. Looks can be deceiving. Which is precisely why I personally insist on scrutinizing every recruit who boards this vessel. I've read Paladin Dance's reports. He seems to think you'll make a fine addition to the Brotherhood. You might expect an endorsement like that to grant you a great deal of latitude with us. 
But let me make one thing clear. The Brotherhood of Steel has traveled to the Commonwealth with a specific goal in mind. As the captain of this vessel, I won't allow anyone to jeopardize our mission, no matter how valuable they think they are. Understood? Absolutely. Good. That's all for now, soldier. Your orders are to proceed to the command deck for the address. After which, Elder Maxon wishes to have a word with you. If you have any questions, ask me now. Otherwise, you're dismissed. I don't have any questions. Then I suggest you head over to the command deck immediately. Dismissed, Initiate. Sir, yes sir. Let's go, girl. and sisters the road behind has been long and fraught with difficulty each and every one of you has surpassed my expectations by rapidly facilitating our arrival in the Commonwealth you have accomplished this amazing feat without a hint of purpose or direction and most impressively without question now that the ship is in position it is time to reveal our purpose and are beneath the Commonwealth there is a cancer known as the Institute. A malignant growth that needs to be cut before it infects the surface. They are experimenting with dangerous technologies that could prove to be the world's undoing for the second time in recent history. The Institute scientists have created a weapon that transcends the destructive nature of the atom bomb. They call their creation the Sin. A robotic abomination of technology that is free-thinking and masquerades as a human being. This notion that a machine could be granted free will is not only offensive, but horribly dangerous. And like the atom, if it isn't harnessed properly, it has the potential of rendering us extinct as a species. I am not prepared to allow the Institute to continue this line of experimentation. Therefore, the Institute and their sins are considered enemies of the Brotherhood of Steel and should be dealt with swiftly and mercilessly. This campaign will be costly, and many lives will be lost. But in the end, we will be saving humankind from its worst enemy, itself. Ad Victorium. Ad Victorium. Ad Victorium. You haven't lived until you've tipped a Brahmin with a vertebrae. Elder Maxon, I care about them, you know. The people of the Commonwealth. Care about them? I thought we were preparing for war. The Brotherhood is here to prevent a war. By starting one of our own. The difference is, our war won't reduce civilization to ashes. Don't worry. I'm convinced. Paladin Dance's reports were quite clear regarding your feelings toward the Brotherhood. And he concludes... that you'd be an asset to us. Seeing as he's one of my most respected field officers, you couldn't get a better recommendation. Therefore, from this moment forward, I'm granting you the rank of knight. And, befitting your title, we're granting you a suit of power armor to protect you on the field of battle. Wear it with pride. I'll do my best to live up to it. I'm certain that you will. In any event, once you're finished becoming familiar with the Pridwin and my staff, report to the flight deck for your new orders. Welcome aboard the Pridwin soldier. Make us proud. All right. Open your personal storage container. Uh, not yet. That is report. Green across the board, sir. All right, let's activate the quest. Um, I th is it still this one? No, 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 no. No. That one. All right. Good. Let's have a word with Paladin Steel. A dance? So how did it Paladin look steel? There. What? Paladin dance. There you are. How did it go with Elder Max? I was very impressed with him. He seems to know what's best for everyone. Exactly. Without his determination, we'd be lost. I just hope you appreciate how much of a chance I'm taking bringing you into the fold this quickly. Not to put too fine a point on it, but if you screw up, we go down together. I won't let you down, Dance. I promise. Good. Now, I know you're eager to hop into a suit of power armor and take the fight to the Institute. But first things first. In order to be an effective part of the team, you need to learn your way around this ship and get to know its crew. 
Since I've been officially assigned to you as your sponsor, I'd recommend taking me along with you. I'll go it alone for now, and come find you when I'm ready. Suit yourself. I'll be in the mess hall if you need me. Alright, let's uh, talk with Tegan first. I'll be seeing this guy quite a bit. Step forward, Knight. Even though they've locked me in this blasted cage, I promise that I won't bite. You sure? Looks uncomfortable in there. It's not that bad. Now this is the stowage depot, and I, as you probably already guessed, am the ship's quartermaster, Proctor Tegan. The powers that be have me locked in here, so I can keep an eye on the Brotherhood's valuables. If you need to stock up on supplies before you head out on a mission, this is the place to buy them. Right. All right. That's good to know. I'm glad you're the agreeable type. When I tell most of the new recruits that they have to buy their own equipment, they give me the stink eye. But the good news is by having a constant flow of caps, I'm able to buy whatever you bring me. Yeah, I'm mostly interested in weapons, but I'll take anything useful. Of course, if you're just looking to make a few caps on the side, I might have some extra work for you to do. Mm, no. What sort of extra work are we talking about? Oh, no, 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 no. It's nothing like you're thinking. It just involves a little bit of heavy lifting and... interacting with the local farms. And since I'm stuck up here manning this one-man zoo, I need someone to do the legwork for me. After you're done with the meet and greet, we can discuss the details. In the meantime, if you ever need anything else, gun, mod, even ammo, you just let me know. Alright, so he's the guy where we can get later on further bird grenades. Um, shall I go in my power armor? Why not? Why not? Oh, That's we need to... Uh, Where's the girl? You're looking for ammunition or weapon box. No, I'm Deacon looking for you. Have you ever fired Rocker. a minigun? So, Choose you're the new recruit like I heard paper. about. I'm huh, right over not here. What I was expecting. Hero. All right. Um. I don't care. I didn't join up to impress everyone. All right, easy night. I didn't mean anything by it. Our usual recruits tend to be wastelanders, and you don't look like one of them. Anyway, since you came down here to meet me, we may as well get it over with. My name's Ingram, and this lovely little grease pit is where you'll usually find me. If your power armor's too tight in the crotch, the Pridwin's about to crash into the ground, or a robot's gone haywire, you come see me. Sounds like you have a pretty full plate. Plate? Hell, I have a whole table's worth of duties around here. There isn't a day that goes by on this tub without five or six things breaking down. And since I'm stuck in this rig, I'm not quite as spry as I used to be. The work tends to pile up. You feel like telling me how you ended up that way? That's a little personal, don't you think? Alright, forget that I asked. Appreciate it. Anyway, I'm sure you're here to get your hands on some power armor. There's a pretty decent T-60 suit <laughs> sitting in Bay 3 that's all yours. Is it now? The left leg actuator's a bit sticky, but it'll keep the creeps off of you. Oh, and if you need any work done on it, feel free to use the workshops around here. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to get back to work. Alright, you're excused then. Uh, yeah. I was already wearing your power armor. Oh, it shouldn't run. Bad for fusion course, bad. Alright, let's meet with the doctor quickly. Glad you finally stopped by, soldier. Are you ready for your medical exam? <laughs> Give it a try. Sure, go right ahead. Alright, I'm going to ask you a series of medical related questions and I'd like uh. you to answer me to the best of your ability. First question, as a child, were you ever exposed to radiation for an extended period of time? There wasn't that much radiation around before the bombs fell. Before the bombs? What? Let, let me check my notes. You were a vault dweller? You're probably healthier than anyone else aboard. Anyway, sorry I missed that in your records. Just going down the list of questions. I'm sure you understand. Okay, second question. Have you ever had or come in contact with a person confirmed to be carrying a communicable disease? 
never been seriously sick in my life. Good, good. Third question. And please, answer honestly. Oh Have you boy. ever had sexual relations with any species considered non-human? Hmm. Well, there was this one really ugly girl in college. I mean, I had to get drunk, and it was a dare, and ugh. That hardly qualifies. So well, <laughs> just put no. Last question. Brilliant. Would you have any problems pulling the trigger on an enemy of the Brotherhood, whether they're human, formerly human, or machine? If my life's in danger, I'll do whatever it takes to defend myself. That's an acceptable answer, and the most common. Excellent. I think I've got all the information I need. I see no reason to prevent you from beginning your duties immediately. If you ever need medical assistance, you let me know. All right, cheers, Kate. And then we have uh, this guy. Ah, good. You're finally here. Just set the books down anywhere. I'll get to them as soon as I can. What? Not even a thank you? I hardly need to... Oh, my. It appears I've mistaken you for someone else. Since it's obvious that you aren't who I was expecting, would you mind telling me why you're here? Maxon wanted me to meet the crew, so you were next on my list. Ah, yes. You must be the new recruit described in Paladin Dance's report. Under normal circumstances, I'd provide you with a proper orientation of my department. However, I'm woefully behind setting up research patrols and getting bombarded with requests for technical documentation. Unfortunately, I'm lacking the personnel needed to get the job done. Maybe I can lend you a hand. That would be splendid. As you patrol the Commonwealth, Keep your eyes open for blueprints, memos, manuals, books, charts. Anything containing useful technical data. I'm authorized to pay you for each bundle of documents that you recover. And if you wish to be assigned to a research patrol, I have plenty of them waiting to be filled. In any event, it was a pleasure to meet you, Knight. Same here. All right. We're almost done with all this interview. And I think, is this my room? Is this my crate? Oh, there we go. Ooh, so close to dinging. Yeah, I'll take some of that. Yep, I'll take that. All right, I think he's outside, isn't he? Yeah, I'm pretty sure he is. Yoink. A paintbrush and a dinner fork. Oh. All right, where's Nora? Stay close to me. Nora really is like dog meat. They throw themselves off everything they can. And well, it's pretty high, so yeah. There he is. Now that you've familiarized yourself with the Pridwin's crew, are you ready for your next assignment, brother? Yes, Elder. Good. Let's get right to it then. Shall we? Take a look over there. That's Fort Strong. And it's infested with super mutants. Having those aberrations of nature close enough to smell is making me sick to my stomach. To make matters worse, they're sitting on top of a massive stockpile of fat man shells we could use in our campaign. I want you to head over there, wipe out everything that moves, and secure that stockpile. Understood? Consider it done. Look. I realize you're eager to take the fight to the Institute, but it'll have to wait. The Brotherhood cannot allow those abominations to have a nuclear arsenal at their fingertips. I hate super mutants. I kill any I run across. Now, that's my girl. Bird on standby, fully armed and ready to depart. Use it to carry our message to Fort Strong and wipe those dirty mutants from the face of the earth. Dismissed. All right, can do. Where is our route right down? Uh, I don't need a ride down, but Nora does. If I jump down, she will jump along with me, but uh, yeah. Alright. Okay. It's Nora here. Oh boy. If dumb and ugly had a child, it'd be a super mutant. <laughs> well, that is a good one. I like that one. Um. Yeah, sure, I'll take all the loot, as long as there's no missiles in there. Alright, 
So, where's my girl? Dude, be careful, Jesus. Um, she's not here. Uh oh. Oh. Jesus, Nora. All right, well, she's here, and they shot a few chunks of this vertebrate, so let's go. Before there's nothing left. Oh, my goodness. Amateurs. Dude. But isn't there such a um, mire lurk hunter on one of these wee islands? I think there is. It's been a while, but it seems to remember not here. Is it here? No, there's that farm. There he is. Oh, there are two. Oh, he's following us. All right, here we go. This is gonna be so much fun. Ooh, I think this one. Alright. I'm gonna find a place to set her down and then hightail it back to the breadwin for repair. <laughs> you do that, but I'm not gonna get out before. All oh, these super mutants are dead. Let's see. <laughs> oh, there's another one. Oh man, I'm shredding them. Is that, um... Myler Hunter coming. I thought he was. Ooh, there's a legendary. Come out, come out, wherever you are. <laughs> there he is. Oh, he's screwed. Damn, he's beefy though. Jesus. Are we good? Are we good. Woo! Okay, let's loot him first. A two-shot hunting rifle? Ooh. That is very good. Um, maybe I should stay. Why? <laughs> no, I'm not sure why, but... Alright. Uh oh. I hear something. Oh, it's electricity. I thought this... Where's this Meyer Lurk? Hunter. I don't think I should linger around here too long. Looks like junk to me. Girl, what do you know? Combat rifle, plasma... What exactly is this place? I almost want to say it's for joy, but then I will be playing too much the divinity. Alright, let's get some few super mutants. Let's have a drink. Is there a point to all this? Green stuff here. Green stuff. Hmm. Maybe some explodey yes. stuff? Oh, door in my face. What? Who's there? Boring. <laughs> Boring. Oh, Nora, please, come on. Whoa, whoa. Alright, that was um, some bad shooting. More at me, I take it because I have no food whatsoever. I need to heal up as well. That's it. Let's 
you up first. Um, let me get some. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. All right, the key here for you. Well, I've just ticked a lot. Magazine. Perfect. Nice. Some loot. Uh, that's okay. Okay, let's move along. Clear this place out. So much ammo. Not gonna do a thorough search here. Let's see. Oops, no. That's what so I wanted to boring. do. Out there, somewhere. Looks like a lot of it. Bad idea. Unless you really want to piss me off. There's one left of me. Yeah. Alright, dude. That took a long time before you fell down. <laughs> Alright. I don't think there's anything here worth picking up, like magazines or whatever. So let's get into the elevator. Hello. There we go. Nora will follow. Oh, here she is. Hey, girl. What's up? go there you go good girl let's see Ooh, 50 cal that's new hunting rifle I'm so gonna upgrade that um, maybe did I not cryo mine could be fun yeah I think that will do I think so let's equip the um, Nates again. There he is. Wow. <laughs> he died of that. Alright, Nori, you need to be careful because I set up a little trap up here. Oh shit, a ricochet on the <laughs> Hell yeah. Is there another one? Oh, I'm leveled up, hang on. Um, I really want to have gun at level 3, but we're not there yet. So there's nothing really that benefits me now. I'm not going to save this point, although I should really start getting sneak up. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, I think there's another one. Oh. oh, it was him. He was completely frozen. Um, is this guy with the rocket launcher? That oh shit! Yeah. Um. Oh my Looks goodness. Like a family. I'm stuck. Right, you die first. And then Really? Where the hell is he? Oh, he's done. He went down. Oh. You're fat, you're ugly, and it's time you and your crazy bitch said goodbye. That's right. You tell him. I think I need some Nuka Cola. Quantum. Oh, it's the Nuka. Why is it the Nuka? Alright, he's gonna blow up. Yeah. He's done. He's not done. Wow. I hope he's carrying something good. Fats and Hans hardened sniper rifle. That's. no. Pretty useless. All right, that's okay. Oh, I'm still in danger. 
Oh, oh. Oh, is he missile launcher dude? Oh, boy. Am I so stuck as well? He is, isn't he? Shit. Shit. Wow. Alright, I'm out of danger. Oh my goodness. Luckily as well, I took this quantum healing up like a boss right now. Woohoo! Looks like a lot of junk. Okay. Not sure if we can carry these. I uh, still can. Cool, we're almost done. Sweet. I think that's it. Alright. And Paladin Dan should be here somewhere in the building. Let's see if we can find him. Uh, have I been in here? Oh, I'll take some 44. What if it, oh, I don't have it equipped. That's fine. The new uh, 44 gun from Kellogg. It's pretty good. Oh, I think I can hear a dance. Hello? Paladin Dance? There he is. Paladin Dance. Look at this place. You must hate these mutants as much as I do. Absolutely. Wiping them out was a pleasure. I wish all of mankind shared your sentiment. These monsters. Oh, they both liked it. Just another <laughs> example of man. Well, Dance loved that even. Step forward, only to wind up stumbling two steps back. I've been fighting for years, trying to put a stop to this madness. And just when I thought we were getting the upper hand, along come the synths. I've seen what these super mutants do to people. Can you imagine what the synths would do to us if they ever got the upper hand? It would be Armageddon repeated. And maybe the end of everything that we hold dear. <sighs> Look, I don't mean to bore you with my rhetoric. I just want you to understand how important these missions are. Don't apologize. It reminds me why I'm doing this. Thank you, brother. It's good to know you're taking my advice to heart. Anyway, that's enough of that. What's important here is that you got the job done and secured these warheads. You should head back up to the Pridwin and talk to Maxon. I'm sure he'll want to debrief you as soon as possible. Dismissed. Alright guys, let me go back to the Pridwin because it's quite a bit of a run. Um, and Paladin Dance is totally in the way of the elevator I want to go into. So uh, yeah, I will see you at the uh, Pridwin. Outstanding work at Fort Strong, soldier. It was an honor fighting for the Brotherhood. I'm glad you feel that way. Because our mission here has only just begun. In order to bring the Institute to its knees, we need to use every weapon at our disposal. I try to supply my soldiers with the best. That's why I'm giving you these. Signal grenades can call a vertebrate to your location when you need aerial transport. Simply throw one to the ground, and the vertebrate will hone in on the unique electromagnetic smoke it emits. Once you're aboard, Use the map on your pit boy to interface with the pilot's navigation system, so he'll be able to take you wherever you need. Thank you, Elder. I'll make good use of them. I expect that you will. Now, I'm sure you're aware that Fort Strong was simply the first step towards the liberation of the Commonwealth. An even greater task lies ahead. By now, I'm sure you've deduced that our arrival in the Commonwealth wasn't coincidental. We're here because of a unique energy reading recorded by Paladin Dance's recon team, according to our scribes. The reading indicated a level of technology that only the Institute could achieve. The moment this information came to light, our mission became clear. The Institute, and everyone responsible for the creation of the synths, must be eliminated at all costs. To accomplish this goal, we need to locate the Institute's headquarters. I've had our scribes meticulously searching the Commonwealth, but they've come up empty-handed. Anything you need, Elder. You just say the word. I want you to get out there and become our eyes and ears on the ground. You seem to have a vested interest in locating the Institute before we met, so I'm confident you'll travel in the right circles. If you discover a way in, I need you to report it to me immediately. Any questions, Knight? Not right now, Elder. Very well, then. Dismissed. 
all right everyone thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this episode this was probably um one of the only missions i'm going to do for the brother to steal i just want to have these vertebrate grenades which i do and this is just fantastic i'm gonna make a really good use of these babies here but for now thanks so much for watching wishing you a really good day stay tuned i'll do a recording as soon as possible Till then, see you later. Bye.